Today's story is sponsored by AIM Acupuncture and Integrative Medicine. Good morning. Thanks so much for watching Living Local today. We are here back at one of my favorite places, AIM Acupuncture and Integrative Medicine. And we're in, always so happy to have you. Yes, I'm always happy to come here. In North Myrtle Beach, we're here with Dr. Weber, who you know and love at this point. So, you know, today we're chatting with another lovely lady who comes here. Miss Ann. Yes. Yeah, so yes. tell me about Miss Ann. Oh, let's see, what to share. I think you're talking to her today about her wound, though, not necessarily about her neuropathy. Right, right? yes. Tell me about this. Yeah. Is this. So she came to us for neuropathy like so many people do. Okay. Uh, but she has a history of skin cancers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you go, you get them locked off, and unfortunately sometimes that doesn't go as planned. Right. It was a deeper wound, um, underlying health conditions. It wasn't closing as mm. she had hoped. Uh, we didn't see her for a little while. She was going to a wound care clinic. She came back to us. We saw the bandage. We're like, oh, let me see that. Oh, what's that? What's that? Mm -hmm. And so we, of course, we can't see something and not sure. treat it. We started working on that, and I think she's quite pleased. Yeah. She's, she's quite pleased. Now, wound care, is that something that you normally do, or you just saw hers and wanted to help out? We do it when we see it. It's That's not crazy. something that we necessarily advertise that we do, mm -hmm. but we do it quite well. We do it very well. Are there actually. certain wounds that you can help with? Like, can you uh, help with burn wounds versus yeah, cuts? I, or I can help with, help with all of the above. But mm. think about my patient demographic. Sure. Um, quite often, we'll see diabetic ulcers, things that don't heal well, slow healing wounds. Again, like we've said before, right. we're the last resort. People mm -hmm. don't come to us first. And since we really don't publicize this, we never have people call up, hey guys, I've got a wound that's not healing. Can you sure. help me with this? Uh, but maybe now, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but, but yes, we come at it like everything that we do here mm -hmm. from a multitude of angles sure. and uh, we see amazing results. Well, this is so cool. So. I mean, I'm really interested to chat with her because this is the first time we're talking about a wound, yeah. you know? Well, stick with us, we're gonna go meet Anne. So now I'm in here with Anne and we are chatting about her journey. Thanks for talking today, Anne. <laughs> Appreciate being able to. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you were telling me a little bit, you were he in here for, well, you have wound care now, but you came in for neuropathy, right? Right, right. So tell me a little bit about kind of your journey with that. I started, I had a regular checkup with the dermatologist. And like I told you earlier, I used to just worship the sun, <laughs> right? Motor oil and baby oil, anything it would, uh, anything to get oh that my sun. Goodness. Uh, she saw my bandage and wanted to know what I did, and I said, "Well, I'm seeing a dermatologist." Told him, and had had one of them done, and this was the fourth one I'd had by then. So it's actual surgery, which leaves. Uh, they put stitches in and oh, wow. take out the what the cancer part of it okay. I guess. And so it does leave a wound and because of where it is on your leg near your shin uh -huh. there's not a lot of right. meat there mm -hmm. or whatever and so it has to heal from the inside out which is okay but it takes a, a lot time. longer. Yeah. And I missed two summers uh, doing that by oh, being wow. able to go in the water and in mm. the pool. So anyway they're working, they're working on that only for about the past two or three weeks and it's amazing. I mean, the. And that's the, this is the first wound that they've been working on? Yeah. With acupuncture? Yeah. I've had more, but didn't know about this until it just kind of hooked and up. And it, it's way. healing so much faster than it was before? So much faster. Wow. And when I first saw it the first time, couldn't believe how deep it was. Right but it had to start healing from underneath it coming out. So I've got one more to go, so I'll be wow. right here getting that one done too. And but. you know, we were chatting before we started rolling and you were saying that everybody was kind of coming in to see how it was. Oh yeah, yeah. And everybody's been amazed, All right? All the girls, that they'd come in and say, let me see it today, and then, yeah. oh my gosh. So wow. that's a testimony, monial well, yeah. for me. Who knew that yeah. acupuncture could uh, help heal wounds. Oh, great. And, and Tanya, and you know, they're all just wonderful. Yeah, oh, yes. To work with. They are, they yeah. are. That's what I keep hearing from everybody, you know, that they yeah. genuinely care about everybody and, and their well-being and getting to know them. Exactly, so. and what each issue is. Right, right. Well, thanks so much, Anne, for taking time to well, chat with us. I enjoyed it. I would recommend it to anybody. Well, that is good to know. Yeah. Good yeah. to know. Well, thanks again, mm -hmm. and thank you guys for watching Living Local. We'll be right back. Today's story is sponsored by AIM Acupuncture and Integrative Medicine.